What's going on here? Um, all right, we are just landed here. Where are we at? We're oh, we're in Lucerne Valley. We just did a. We're doing a little uh, final prep on the two KRXs. We're gonna race the DP4 series tomorrow, and uh, yeah, so just a little cleanup work. Got the cars ready, and uh, we're gonna go take them out on a pre-run here in a little while. But we got a, like I said, we got a little bit of work left. Jeremy might be a racer, but he also is a mechanic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right now uh, we're putting, we're finalizing, we're putting on the sun visor. The roof's on it, but we got to put the sun visor on, then we got to put this on. All right, Rowan, where are you going? I'm backing out so that we can pull over there and check the right height on flatter ground. Why do you need to check the right height? So that I can pass tech tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Should have stopped your co driver over there? He might lay down the car a lot. Yeah. He might. <laughs> no more dirt bike racer? No more. No more. He's retiring. Full time mechanic. <laughs> I'm not responsible if that is crooked. <laughs> is that good? All right, today we're in school. School's in session. They're gonna learn how to change a belt right now. Uh, she already subbed out. Okay. Her, her mechanic has taken place. <laughs> she subbed out. What are you doing? Putting on a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> As you see here, you I, I have a mount here. This mount is around the roll cage. It's gonna really videotape Jeremy and I going through the ropes. You? This is, yes. What? Yes. Hey, I'm the tester, I'm not the co-driver. All right, morning up at uh, 6 a.m. Heading over there to do tech from seven to nine. Gotta make sure the cars pass. We got an hour drive to the track because we're staying in the hotel. So, see you guys there. All right, we're up here at tech. This car that we're racing today. How do you how do you spell silk? <laughs> S-I-L-K? What do cows drink? Milk. No, they drink water. They, they get milk. <laughs> that was a good one. Ah. <laughs> I like that question. <laughs> section yesterday that wasn't on the course so just to kind of get familiar with what's going on out here uh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty rocky we've had some pretty big weather lately lots of rain so it's probably gonna bring up some rocks looks like there's some water in the ground which might might make it a little less dusty but uh, for the most part we don't know so what's the game plan today Rowan because you've done two races in the past what's prepared you to get out here today because it's your first race of 2023 right yeah, so I raced the Mint 400 and the California 300 last year. I ended up doing pretty well. I was fourth in the Mint, and I think I was 
third in yeah, the California we'll 300. The scoring kind of got messed up there, so we're not the top really five sure. for sure. Yeah, and so those prepared me pretty well because those were pretty rough courses for my first couple of races. So I think we'll be good. I'm excited for her. She's she's gonna. This is her first race without me in the car. So um, yeah, I, th I hope she can pick up on some of the stuff we had last time learn and as the races go get faster and faster so so um without having my dad in the car i'm a little nervous just because he knows a lot more about the desert and like than i do but i think i think i'll be able to handle it if you want to follow what we have going on today click here to watch the video on instagram <laughs> Oh yeah, I tried that one on. Are you excited? Yeah, it should be fun. Never done. Wanting to fish tail you, in the back. Were you and trying to make up time after you fell, like foot got back on the wheels and started going? Yeah, I were passed you, like six people. You did? Really? Yeah. Because like I know when you fall on your bike or whatever, and you're like, oh, I gotta go. And so I, I was thinking about that. If you tipped over, I passed two people within like ten minutes of fli flipping back over, like right away. Mm. So did you feel like you were driving really good at that point? I felt like I was driving pretty good. I definitely got a little more cautious in the turns just because I knew that could easily happen again and there would not be cameramen that would be able to flip us over. I'd say you crash and she crashed in the perfect spot. Yeah, why not? We right? were I mean, literally saying the exact same thing because it eight minutes been bad is pretty solid to flip a car over. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty quick. I mean, <laughs> a lot of times you're out and, and we both around. hopped out and we're unbuckled. <laughs> How would you describe the course? course was fun lots of f like little you know little like the, I think the sand sections got really deep so you had to you know when you come in and hook a rut the yeah. tires were working awesome I got it on two wheels a couple different times and Derek was up in there and <laughs> whip it over I'm like oh that was close he didn't even say anything you're like dude I wish he weighed like 10 more pounds <laughs> yeah yeah exactly. he said he got a little car sick yeah. did he did he tell you that well no he had to flip up the thing and put his visor up and get some air I think yeah. he was he said I think he was when the when the fuse went out for the car, yeah. you know, whatever happened, yeah. the air stopped working. Oh yeah. So he had his skirt down. And he was breathing his own air. Yeah. And we were driving like that. I'll have to talk to the guy in the shop that does the electrical because that's not he me did. or you. Hey, the co-driver did get a little quiet for a while. <laughs> Taking it out. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. Would you like to thank your sponsors? Yeah, I'd like to thank Kawasaki, Maxis, of course. Tires were bitching, and my mechanic Scott Bell. Woo! <laughs> Congratulations. Good job, boys. All right. Good job.